Uncle Tim's. It's all good. So here's the 12 little pigs. Been feeding them in here every morning and they all come in, which is good because I have customers coming tomorrow to pick up some of their piglets. So I'll be able to come feed in here. They'll all come in and just close the gate over here. So I have this set up so that the big pigs can't come in, but these little pigs can get in here. And then I've got a Another partial panel right there. I can just swing over there, close that off, and then all the little pigs will be locked in here. And then we can catch the ones we want out of here. So I've got customers coming to pick their piglets up this weekend, and then the rest of them are going to get weaned and stuck over in another pin over at the pond, another pond where we had the pigs last last summer and last fall. I think one of them we might not wean. That little one there in the middle. Step around this tree here. That little one right there. Probably won't wean her just yet. We'll leave her here for a little while longer. Anyhow, I'll give her a good chance. But all the, the rest that aren't weaned, we'll go over in that pen to either get fattened up for butcher or one of these females, I think this female right, either this female third from the end or that one down there, I'm going to keep as a replacement breeding stock, whichever one is bigger. I think this one right here is bigger actually. Now she's second from the end. I think she'll be the one that I keep as a replacement breeder. Anyhow, this is working good. All these little pigs come in here. I'm just going to be able to close the gate, catch them. I've got some uh, hog slat plastic pig sorting panels that we use. We I got three of them. We kind of get the pigs up in the corner and hold them with those hog slats and then just grab the ones out that we want. And I'll try to get some video of that when we catch the pigs tomorrow, but... It doesn't always work out. Anyhow, I just thought I'd give you an update on how it's going here. And you can see all these males have healed up just fine. Nobody had any infections. Nobody got sick. Nobody slowed down in weight gain. There. That pig right there up against the fence. He's a big one. He's a big old brute. And then a good female. I mean, they're all they're all doing good. There's a few that are bigger than the rest, but they are all nice and healthy and in good shape. All right, I'm gonna go feed the mamas now. Well, I'm down to eight pigs left here. Hoping to get rid of a couple of more. I don't want to have to feed all eight of these until this fall, but I guess I will if I have to. There's one down there. I put a tag in. That's a female I'm going to keep as a replacement. Nice big female. And then I'll keep one of these males to butcher. And I guess I'll keep... <clears throat> if I don't sell anymore, I guess I'll keep, keep all of them. But I'm hoping, like I said, get a few more of them sold before... I can get them moved out of here, get them weaned and moved into a different pen. Lots of lush grass and a pond for them. <clears throat> Give these mamas a break and then get them rebred so we can get another round of piglets this fall. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and let them out of here. Now I can get out with their mama.